Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. We're jumping right into our new knot segment. I want to give a huge shout out and a big fat happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. I did miss I did miss my number one fan's birthday. I do apologize. But I do want to give you a big old shout out, Chris. Uh, like I said, we're jumping right into this knot segment. We're going to go over a Prusik knot. We're going camping this week. And uh, we're going to go over exactly why we're going to use this knot and what we use this knot for. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going camping uh, with some family and friends this week. I cannot wait. We're going to have a blast. And I do expect rain uh, at least one day. Not sleeping in a tarp shelter or a hammock however uh we will need to put up a tarp for some shelter uh if it does happen to get a little crazy with the weather and a prusik knot is going to be the perfect application to use when we put up that tarp so we can keep it nice and tight over our heads and stay dry so what i did was i have my makeshift ridge line right here i have a 12 to 24 inch piece of rope that i just made a square knot in and this is what we're going to use to make our prusik knot. Chris, pay attention because uh, you're going to be the one making this knot uh, when we put up our tarp to cover ourselves from the rain. Okay? So you're going to take your loop that you made. You're going to put it behind your ridge line. We're going to use this square knot just as a point of reference so no one gets confused and no one gets lost here. You're going to pass your square knot through your loop over your ridge line okay so essentially you're making like a locks head knot okay uh however you're not going to stop there you're going to come through one more time you're going to wrap around and come back through your loop important to make sure that second set of wraps is in the middle of where you just wrapped through okay it may get a little messy but we're just going to dress everything up and we're going to keep it nice and neat as we go along okay so you have essentially something that looks like this. Okay. Now you can stop there if you want. I personally like to go through three times. I just feel it's a little bit more secure. Okay. You don't have to, but I just happen to like doing that. So you're going to come around again one more time around your ridge line and back through your loop again making sure that wrap stays in the middle it may get a little messy which is fine you're going to dress up your wraps and you're going to have yourself your prusik knot okay now how does this work very simple under no pressure or tension at all you will be able to freely move this knot along your ridge line very easy you don't need any muscle to do this chris it's a very look one finger okay you just use one finger to do that however under tension this is where the prusik knots magic comes into play it will not move you can pretty much take all of your body weight and pull any direction back and forth and that will not move What's beautiful about this is once you release the pressure from that knot again, you will then be able to freely move this knot back and forth or move this loop back and forth up and down your line. And that is the Prusik knot. Uh, real quick, just a couple of things. I've heard that you need to, you can use a smaller diameter line on a bigger di diameter ridge line. The reason why I would not suggest that uh, is because sometimes depending on how much pressure or tension you put on this prusik it can really bite down into your ridge line and you could find yourself in a situation where you will not be able to freely move this up and down without any type of uh, real force so i again just me personally it's a personal preference for mine i don't really Use a smaller diameter line on my ridge line. Everything's pretty much the same. It's 550 cord. It won't slip. It won't slide under tension. And that's pretty much why we use it. So that's going to wrap it up for me tonight, guys. The Prusik knot. Short and sweet, like I said. Uh, really useful when you need to put up uh, a shelter or a tarp. 
and utilize some type of friction knot on a ridge line. Christopher, uh, once again, happy 17th birthday. I can't wait to go camping with you this week. I think we're really going to have a great time. Also, the ridge line I used was from Titan Survival. It is their survival cord. I am an affiliate of theirs. Uh, I'll have a link in my description on where you can get that. If you do happen to buy it, I will get a small commission. You will get 10% off your entire order. I really do appreciate the support. I'm also an Amazon associate. If I do happen to list any items in my description and you click on those links and you buy anything, I do get a commission from that as well. It helps me and the channel out and hopefully helps me grow uh, to bigger and better things. Uh, if you guys did like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and more importantly, ring that bell uh, so you're notified every time I make a new video. I really appreciate you checking me out tonight. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft, signing out.